Hi guys, you must be wondering why there are balloons behind me. I know that's what you were wondering, right? Well, I have found myself in the middle of a prank war, of all things, over this bag of chips. And it's been interesting. Uh, they're my friend's chips from next door, and she left them here one evening about a month ago. And I told her to take them with her, because I did not want the chips. But she was like, nah, you keep them. She's gonna love me for that impersonation. But in any case, the chips sat on my microwave for about a month. And I finally couldn't take it a couple weeks ago, so I threw open their door and I threw the chips inside and I left. They responded by putting a tombstone outside of my door with a list of all my favorite literary characters on it. And that was really depressing to see. So then I responded by putting pictures of everything they hate on their door. And on Saturday, I found myself opening the door to trash bags taped across my door with all these balloons inside so that they could just go and hit me in the face. So now I have all these balloons flying around my room because I'm too lazy to pop them. Retaliation is coming. We'll see who gets the last laugh. I do not want these chips. Danny and Lindsay, I will admit that I stay in shape. I try to stay in shape at least. And so I go to the gym here on campus because it's free like everything else that comes with my campus stuff that I pay for. Like the school newspaper and the printer paper that I'm supposed to have unlimited access to apparently. But in any case, I have free membership, so I go to the gym. And I went the other day and I found that there were a lot of people in the gym. The gym has never been this crowded. And I stood there for a moment wondering why in the world there would be so many people in the gym. And then I remembered that Thanksgiving is next Thursday. Turkey day! You know how churches tend to have Christmas and Easter? as the two times when a lot more people come to church. I feel like that's the same way with the gym. You've got Thanksgiving and New Year's that just everyone seems to run to the gym around those times and work out. And aside from the gym being packed, I've also found that the gym is an incredibly judgmental place. Or at least I feel like I'm being judged. But honestly, everyone is just watching each other and you can't deny that because I do the same thing. Everyone is just staring at each other, whether they're running on the treadmill or they're lifting weights. I do the, uh, do the whole fast walking thing because running and I are in a hate-hate relationship with each other. And you're sitting there thinking either they look better than me or I look better than them. And it's just this unending cycle and I really hate it because it's a lot of mental things that I don't want to have going through my mind when I'm fast walking. Everyone just stay in their own corners. I'll see you gym goers at New Year's. In other news, it's also getting a little colder here, which is why I'm wearing a sweater, and I'm very excited that I can wear sweaters. But there are some people that seem unable to dress themselves still. I have an eight o'clock class, and unfortunately now, it's like 30 degrees every time I go out for my eight o'clock class. And Danny and Lindsay, you might be laughing at me for that, but unfortunately, I have lived in Texas for my entire life now. My Chicago jeans have unfortunately kind of been suppressed by all of the Texas heat. So cold and I, I enjoy the cold, but we don't seem to get along very well sometimes. But there are girls who walk out in like the leggings and the boots and just the oversized sweatshirt and that's all they wear. And I just look at them and I'm like, how are you not cold? I go outside in a thick sweater and boots and jeans and a winter coat and a hat even and they're just waltzing around with barely anything on. I want to have their stamina with the cold. Is this something that I can take a course on here? Because I would love to be able to stand outside with almost nothing on and be immune to winter. That would be great. If there is a secret, can someone please tell me this? All wonderful secret, please. Danny, I'm glad you're feeling much better. I'm sorry you had to go through all of that. That sounds awful. But at least you're feeling better and everything's good and I'm glad to hear about that. Lindsay, I want your life. That's all I have to say to you. I want your life. Lindsay, I guess uh, whales wouldn't really celebrate Thanksgiving, but I hope you get access to a turkey or something Thanksgiving-esque and enjoy lots and lots of food because what else is Thanksgiving good for besides food and football and the Macy's Day Parade? And of course, you know, don't feel guilty about eating all the food because you can always work it off at the gym. Danny and Lindsay, hope life is treating you guys well. P.S. Danny, I'm really sorry, but I will only be in town next week for less than 24 hours. The odds of seeing you are actually quite slim. Though, 
send me a text if you want to meet. I'd be happy to, but I probably won't be seeing either of you really until Christmas break. Love you guys.